Car D. Kaizoku. Uh, please subscribe so that my wife believes me when I tell her the hundreds I've spent on One Piece cards were an investment for my YouTube channel. Thanks. We have a match here against an Odin. That's something different. They decide to go first. We'll keep this hand. They play Momo and pass. We'll play Beji and pass. I would have preferred not to have these two event counters in hand. Um, they're kind of clogging our early game up, but we'll see what we draw. They activate Momo to search the top five cards of their deck for a Wano Country card. They pick up a Kinemo. They attack our leader with Odin for 5k. We'll take. And we got a Paradise Waterfall. Did I jinx myself by talking about the event counters? Clogging my hand? We'll attack Momo with Kit for 5k. We'll play Okiku and pass. They play Basil Hawkins, and then attack our leader with Odin for 5k. We'll take. Still nothing to play next turn. We'll do Dawn on Okiku, attack Odin for 6k, and tap the Basil Hawkins. We'll do... We'll do 5 Dawn on leader, and attack Basil Hawkins for 10k. Uh, we want to kill him since we have nothing else to play and it would be pretty loss of tempo if the Basil Hawkins survives and we ha we didn't develop the board any further. They play Izo to tap our veggie. They attach 3 Dawn to Odin and attack Okiku for 8k. We'll counter for 4k. Since they didn't do anything that turn either, it kind of evens out with my dead turn. We'll attack leader with Okiku for 5k. They take. We'll attack leader with a uh, kid for 5k. They take. We'll play 8 cost kid and pass. They play Kinemon, and then use Kinemon's effect to bring out a, a Nekomamushi to tap our Beji. They attack Beji with Izo for 3k. They attach 2 down to Odin and attack Okiku for 7k. They play a Beji. They activate Odin's leader ability to untap 2 Dawn, I guess for a Pung Gibson or something. We'll attack Izo with leader for 5k. We'll do Dawn at 8 cost kit and attack leader for 9k. They block with Beji. We'll play Killer Blocker. We'll play Okiku. We'll do Dawn on Killer. Should we play the Bonnie or should we leave Dawn up for events? We'll play Bonnie and pass. We can either do two Paradise Waterfalls or a Pung Gibson. They play a uh, 5 cost law to bounce Nekomomoshi back to hand and replay him to tap our killer blocker. Making our 8 cost kid vulnerable. They attach 5 Dawn to Kinemon and attack 8 cost kid for 11k. We'll, we'll use Paradise Waterfall to untap him and we'll use the other Paradise Waterfall to bring the counters up to 4k and untap the uh, killer blocker. They pass with 2 Dawn open. We'll do Dawn on 8 cost kid, Dawn on leader. We'll activate Bonnie first. We'll take a veggie here. 
Don't know, no Okiku. We'll attack Kinemon with Okiku for 6k and then tap uh, 5 cost law with her ability. We still have 6 Dawn to work with this turn, so pretty sure we're at the advantage here. They counter with Punk Gibson for 4k. We'll attack Kinemon with 8 cost kit for 9k. He dies. Pretty sure he doesn't have any counters since he had to use Punk Gibson. I'll do one more down on leader just in case and attack the 5 cost law for 7k. He dies. We'll play a veggie. And we'll pass with Dawn up for Punk Gibson. And they concede. I guess we had too much uh, advantage there for him to continue. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.